And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and boy, price action has been pretty brutal here, at least for Ethereum, not for Bitcoin. Bitcoin kind of holding it up strong, um, had a significant bounce as the economic data came in this morning. Bullish for the dollar, so retail sales up, higher than expected, much, much higher than expected. Uh, retail sales up higher than expected. And the big one, uh, retail sales X autos coming out double than the previous month and about 500% more or 600% more than the expectation. I wonder what uh, Jerome Powell is gonna have to do about that. And I'm gonna look at the rate hike tool. And my guess is coming up, November 1st, oh, still 90% chance of no rate hike. So uh, we'll see what other economic data has come out. Maybe they just know that the system will break if he raises it another quarter point. Those bank failures are going to come out of the woodworks. And um, yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. So maybe they're not going to do the rate hike. Um, I do want to take a look really quick at the liquidation levels on Bitcoin because Bitcoin really didn't get the push down that most of the alternate coins did receive. Um, so you got this bright pink level down here at 27.4 and then the big big pink down here if they really go for it is going to be uh, 474 million dollars so people are still net long on bitcoin uh two key important levels 27.4 and really 20 is that 26.8 or 26 that's 26,791 um as far as i can see the way bitcoin has recovered has been uh fairly bullish um in my opinion you know the fact that we pulled out a W here on the 15 minute time frame, closing above the middle wick. This is a bottoming signal. So, uh, but you know, pretty much pressure is going to be on to the downside as long as we are below the uh, 618 area, which is going to be right here. And I will just draw a little green box of peace and prosperity or death and despair above the box good below it um, still likely to tag some of those lower liquidations in my opinion um, however this is what happened this morning for dixie so as that a news came out at uh what was it, about 5 30 pacific time uh the dollar was getting smoked to the downside ripped right to the upside and what do i imagine this is uh because it just came right back down i don't know i i didn't see any of the other additional news out there i know that banks reported earnings today bank of america and jp morgan they're killing it they're doing great i don't know how the rest of the economy is doing but um, they are making a lot of money over at the banks and uh, this kind of rejection leads me to believe my um, idea was wrong temporarily about, um, and this would be a nice little head and shoulders, a break below here. And I'd be looking for pretty much the full retrace, um, at least for this fib to get hit. Let's use it on a candle body closing basis. So somewhere around here, which is not even close to our, um, you know, kind of macro bullish target. So definitely looks like reversal on Dixie should bode well for risk assets. Uh, NASDAQ started out the day pretty negative, but looks like putting in a temporary bottom um, won't be sold on that one until, well, we get back above this last major high. Um, or we get some kind of announcement that they are going to lower rates. Look at S&P popping it up here, looking good. Um, and then back on Bitcoin and what we were discussing here. Um, is that the box? Nope. If 
Let's add a different chart up. Here we go. That's the one. That's the 0.5 and the 6.18. And this is the BlackRock Scam Wick. And yes, I heard um, good old uh, Mr. What's his name? Larry Fink from BlackRock was on the TV again, shilling Bitcoin, giving the Bitcoin praises like he should be. Um, interesting, interesting. And I think, yeah, <laughs> The saying was, look, BlackRock needs Bitcoin more than you or I uh, because they're holding the worst possible assets and <laughs> toxic bonds as interest rates continue to go higher. The two year busting up here over 5%. Um, we did say probably not the end for the two year, for the 10 year or the 30 year when it comes to rally time. And TLT, the death and doomsday fund for BlackRock. That's why, that's why they need Bitcoin, because if they don't own some Bitcoin and they own this piece of garbage, well, it's not going to look good for um, BlackRock. Anyways, back off my rant here, and we'll take a look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and wrap it up here. So Bitcoin on the shorter term time frames does look to be putting in a little bit of a temporary high here, but uh, just baking on away here, higher low, higher low. Um, as long as we do not kind of lose that 28.1 region, if we do lose that region, I do believe we're going to visit the WIC, the, the, the Black Rock Scam News WIC. We had... Most of the altcoins uh, did come in and touch the bottom of this wick. The question is, are they going to go for more? And uh, well, yeah, until Ethereum can get back kind of above 16, 1592, I would suspect that that is the case. Um, <clears throat> and Bitcoin still has room to bounce here, you know, still has room. A weak bounce comes up to the 382. And a strong bounce up into this region. So definitely uh, could bounce a little bit more. Um, let's look at the four hour consolidation here does kind of lead me to believe that uh, probably going to be down first before uh, more upside. Again, we were looking for this low to hold on the daily time frame. Bitcoin did confirm uh, another daily higher low, higher high, higher low. Uh, almost, yeah, it's a candle body closing and a wick closing basis, higher high here. So now, you know, they're saying the line in the sand is 28,000. I would say it's more like the four hour line in the sand here at uh, this this wick right here more specifically um we got the higher high and yeah we just want to see above 27 4 27 7 that region we want this area to hold to the downside which is actually lower than the 382 based on a wick basis but if we do it on a candle body closure basis so I'm going to draw two boxes, um, two boxes here. The not 0.5 and the 3.82, which is the same thing uh, going back. If we did a bullish or a bearish retracement, right? That's a bullish retracement from the low to the high, a bearish retracement to the high, to the low. And yeah, if we start to close back uh, back below this area, you could see Bitcoin slurp down all the way down to 25.5 and tag all that liquidity. Um, you know, usually when you get a run up here, you know, everybody's stop losses right up here. Okay, all these people are trapped now. How do you liquidate the people that went long up there? Well, you have to force price down a bit more before it goes back up. So definitely altcoins on the receiving end of this uh, bear party. Bitcoin's kind of just consolidating at the highs here. And, 
you know, it's completely fine for us to come down, tag that box, and then make another attempt at this region, which is what I do suspect does happen for the month of October. Um, and, you know, this is bullish for, for Bitcoin. You know, when you see the dollar doing this, I mean, dollar looks like it wants to come down minimum to this level here, the purple 200, to get an official test on the four hour time frame. And uh, again, you know, Bitcoin just holding it up valiantly as we just got a four hour closure. Let's see what the stochastic says. So stochastic momentum did just cross up, but will cross down below 28.528. And uh, momentum is beginning to wane. So you would expect a mean reversion bounce, essentially price to go in the opposite direction. Right. So what is a mean reversion? That means price goes back to the average, which if you take the average price between, you know, this low here and this low here, it's probably going to come right in the middle at the 50 percent retracement. Which I'll draw it one more time, the 50 percent. The 50% is right there on a wick basis, but on a candle body closure basis, it's a bit lower, which is gonna come in, depending upon where you draw this, um, we drew it from the low. And that's where we got our box here. So I'm just gonna raise it up just slightly. And, <coughs> Yeah, just in general, you know, holding above here, good. And really, a back above here, guys, if we can bust through here, put in a higher low on the daily, it's going to be bull time. Bull time for Bitcoin. So you don't want to miss out. Uh, you definitely don't want to miss out. And you want to, you know, be strategic with your entries and risk management. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, show today. If you did, smash the like button. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.